Second Chronicles chapter 26. وَيَقَّحُ كُلْ عَمْ يَهُودَ اَدْعُزِيَهُ وَهُ بَنَشَيْتْ عَشَرِ شَانَا And all the people of Yehuda took Uzziyahu, and he was the son of sixteen years. وَيَمَلِيكُ هُوْتُ تَحَتْهَابِ وَأَمَتْيَاهُ And they made him king in place of his father, Amathiahu. He built a lot, and he returned it to Yehuda. After the lying of the king with his fathers. Wahamishim Uthataim Shana Malak Biru Shalem. The son of sixteen years was Oziyahu in his reign, and fifty and two years he reigned in Yerushalem. Wishemahim Mo Yukoliyah Min Yerushalem, and the name of his mother Yukoliyah from Yerushalem. And he effectuated the upright thing in the eyes of Yahweh. Like all which Amathiahu, his father, had effectuated. And he was for to seek God in the days of the Karyahu, the one understanding by means of seeing the God. And in the days of his seeking Yahweh, he caused him to prosper, the God did. And he went out and he battled among the Pelishtim. And he breached the wall of Gut. And the wall of Yavne. And the wall of Ashdod. And he built cities in Ashdod and among the Pelishtim. And the God helped him against Pelishtim and against the Arabim, the ones dwelling in Gur Baal, and the Ma'unim. And the Ammonim gave an offering or gift to Ozziyahu. And his name went as far as to the entrance of Mithraim, for he strengthened him as far as to upward. And Ozziyahu built towers in Yerushalem. Upon the corner gate, and upon the gate of the valley, and upon the turning. And he fortified or made them strong. And he built towers in the wilderness. And he hewed out 
abundant cisterns. Ki mikkun rab hayalo, because abundant cattle was for him. Wava shepela, wava mishor, also in the lowland and in the plain. Ikarim wukormim beharim wava karmel. Kiyo hebhada mahaya. Land workers and vine dressers in the mountains and in the fruitful fields. For a lover of the ground he was. Wai yahi al ozi yahu hail o she milhama yo she shava ligadud bimisapar. Pukudatam, Bayad Yael Hasopir, Umashe Yahu, Hashot Er, Al Yad Hanan Yahu, Mishare Hamelk, and an army effectuating battle was for Ozi Yahu, ones going out of war for a troop. In the number of their mustering, by the hand of Yael the scribe and Ma'asheyahu the officer, upon the hand of Hananiyahu from the princes of the king. Kol misapara rahashe havot legibore hail alapaim. All the number of the heads of the fathers for the mighty men of efficacy, two thousand and six hundred. Wa aliyadam hel shava the Lord me hot help. Wa shiva at halafim wa hamish me hot. O she mil hama bekoh hail. Lazor lam melk, Allah ho yeb. And upon their hand, an army for war, three hundred thousand and seven thousand and five hundred, ones effectuating battle by strength of efficacy to help to the king against the enemy. Why ya can Allah him ozi yahu look all the hashava margin name Urma him ukova aim wish your your north ukasha thought ula have a neck aim and he prepared for them ozi yahu did for all the host. Shields and spears and helmets and coats of mail and bows, and for stones of slings. Wayash Birushalim Hishavonot Mahashabit Horsheb Lihyot Allaham Migdalim Wa Allahapin Nort Liro Bahit. And he effectuated in Yerushalem contraptions, the devices of a divisor, to be upon the towers and upon the corners, to throw by means of arrows and by means of stones, great stones. Why yes, Jehishamo, Adela Mera Hawk, Ki Hippoli, Lehe Azer, Ada Ki Hazak, and his name went out as far as to far away, because he did marvelously or wondrously to be helped until he was strong. Uke hezaka to gava libo adle hashehit. Why im alabia will hello how? And as 
his strength, his heart became high as far as to corruption, and he became treacherous against Yahweh his God. And he came to the temple of Yahweh. To burn incense upon the altar of the incense. And Azariahu the priest came after him. And with him, priests for Yahweh, eighty sons of efficacy. And they stood against Ozi Yahu the king. And they said to him, It is not for thee, Ozi Yahu, to burn incense to Yahweh. But for the priests, sons of Ahron, the ones sanctified to burn incense. Go thou out from the sanctuary, for thou hast become treacherous. And it is not for thee for glory from Yahweh God. Why is up Ozi Yahu? And Ozi Yahu became angry. Ubiado Mikatarit Lahakatir and in his hand a censer for to burn incense. Ubiza po imahako hanim. And in his wrath with the priests, Also, the leprosy came forth in his forehead before the priests in the house of Yahweh from over to the altar of the incense. And Azariahu the priest, the head priest, turned to him and all the priests, and behold, he was one made leprous in his forehead. Why ever he luhu mitham? And they hurried him from there. Wugamahu nida hafa lash et ki nigga o Yahweh. And also he was driven to go out, for Yahweh had smitten him. And Ozi Yahu the king was one made leprous until the day of his death. And he dwelt in the house of the freedom or separateness. One made leprous. Ki nigazar mi bet Yahweh, for he was cut off from the house of Yahweh. We ought am a beno, ala bet the hum melek, shaw fet et am ha hark. And your thumb, his son, was over the house of the king, one judging the people of the land. We yet are a divere, ozi yahu, hurry a shaw name. Wahronim Katab Yeshayahu Benaha Moth Hanabi 
and the rest of the words of Uzziyahu, or the things of Uzziyahu, the first things and the latter things, Yeshayahu, the son of Amorth, the prophet, wrote, Why Yeshikab Uzziyahu, Imahabo Tayu, and Uzziyahu lay with his fathers, Why Yakabaru Hoto, Imahabo Tayu, Bishade Hakabura, Atar Lamalakim, Kihamaru, Masora Ahu, and they buried him with his fathers in the field of the burial, which was for the kings. For, they said, one made leprous he is. And your thumb, his son, reigned in his place.